In this video, we are going to see that how can we add page borders in Microsoft Word. So we are not only going to add the page borders, but we are also going to see the various ways uh, through which we can customize the borders as per our requirements. Okay. So uh, to insert the page borders, first of all, what you need to do is go to this design tab. In this design tab, you will find this page background group in which there is this option of page borders. So if you just click on this, this kind of a dialog box would appear. It would provide you with different options, but by default, the page border option would be enabled. Now, first of all, you can just select the setting. Right now it is set to none, but if you just select it to box, then what would happen is you can see in the preview option that uh, we can just toggle that where we want the borders. Suppose we just want the borders on the three side, we can just remove this upper side. Like this, we want to remove the border on the downside, we can do that. Similarly for the left side and the right sides as well. So this is how you toggle that where you want the border. Suppose I don't want the border on the upper side, I just want it on the three sides, okay? Then there is another option of apply to. So where you want to apply, like, um, you just want it on the first page. You want in all the pages except the first page. You just want on this particular section that is this particular page on which you are currently or you want it for the whole document. So let's just go with this, this section option. Furthermore, there are other options as well. Like you can just select the margin from where the border would be there. By default, it is set to 24 points. But if you want to change it, you can do that as well. Since I'm not using any top margin, so I'm just going to ignore it. And the rest, I'm going to keep it as 50 points. Okay. So this is what uh, I want my border at. And you can see the preview as well. Now we can click on OK. Um, so we would get an error message that the maximum distance that you can apply is from 0 to 31 points means anything beyond 31 points would be like too much. So let's just uh, keep it at a 31 points itself. That is the maximum limit. Okay. So let's just go with 31 points and click on OK again on OK. So this is how the border is looking, right? This is when we have kept it at 31 points. Now let's just press Ctrl Z to undo the changes and again uh, look for this same option. Let's just remove this uh, top. Okay, let's just go with the box and remove the top and go to the options. And from where you want to measure this margin, that's a parameter. Like you want to measure it from the text or you want to measure it from the edge of the page. So if you measure it from the edge of the page, this is how it would look. But if you want to measure it from the text, this is how it would look. This is how the options have been changed. Means you can just uh, select it as per your choice. Like um, let's just keep five points or something like this. You can change it as per your wishes. Okay. Now these are few options. Make sure to just always check them to get a best result for your borders and then click on OK. Now the thing is that by default, this kind of a uh, single lines would be applied in the case of a border. And uh, this is the default width. This is the default color. That's a black color. Let's just click on OK to first apply a default border. OK, so this is a default border that we are getting. But now let us just customize it to other designs as well. So again, we can go to the page borders option. Suppose we don't want the simple style. Uh, these are these all the styles that are supported. You can just select any of these styles, maybe some funky ones, maybe some simple ones that totally depends upon you. You want to change the color as well. Uh, you can do that. You want to change the width. Let's just go with the one point width. You want to add some kind of an art for your borders that also you can do. But let's just first go with the non art to see how it is looking. So uh, I don't think the changes have been applied. Let me just undo it first of all. And now let's just apply the border once again. Okay. So let's just go with the box one. Uh, let's just go with the color blue. Font width going to be this one and click on OK. So now you can see the border has been applied just like this as per our specifications. Okay. Now let's again undo it and uh, look for the art border to apply. Uh, this time we are just going to select the art from all of these options that are given to us. You can just scroll all the way to the bottom to see all the options that are available. Right. Let's just select this kind of a paper clips option. Uh, in the preview tab, you can also view the preview that how uh, your document is going to look ultimately. Uh, 
just like this let's just go with some kind of uh, art like this okay and if you click on okay this is how the border is looking so that's how we can work with the page borders furthermore there are other options like you can add a shadow as well let's just click on okay first of all let's just undo it and let's just apply a shadow border to see the difference between the box and the shadow border okay let's just select this click on okay so this is how a shadow border is looking and there is another option that's for a 3d border that also you can apply let's just apply a 3d border click on okay so this is how a 3d border is looking that's having a kind of a bold three-dimensional look to it just like the previous border like the box border you can also customize the way these borders are looking like if you just select this cupcake art for a shadow or a 3d let's just see this is how it's looking so that's how you can work with the borders you can apply any color any format of the borders that you wish and you can adjust the space as well as uh, the place where you want the borders okay so that's all for this video and thanks for watching